Hi, my name is Prashant Kumar. I'm a solutions architect here at HPE Aruba Networking. Hi, I'm Corey Robertson, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer at HPE Aruba Networking. The Edge Connect SD-WAN is a secure software-defined WAN solution that provides reliable application access over any network transport. Aruba Central Net Conductor is Aruba's software-defined enterprise solution that is focused on unifying the wired and the wireless infrastructure uh, in a seamless fashion. We're also looking to simplify the policy for both wired and wireless with the Aruba Central uh, Global Policy Manager. The, the solution provides the um, administrator an easy way to create their underlay infrastructure as well as their overlay infrastructure with few easy clicks, allowing customers to deploy layer two, layer three segments, or macro, which is VRF based, or micro segmentation, which is role based topologies um, in their LAN infrastructure. As Prashant mentioned, the Aruba Central Net Conductor allows for role based micro segmentation across LAN segments. By integrating with the fabric borders, uh, using standards-based BGP EVPN VXLAN, the Edge Connect appliance is able to learn this role information and carry it across the SD-WAN fabric. Because this integration is based on standards BGP EVPN VXLAN, the Edge Connect is also able to interrupt with third-party VXLAN-based fabrics. Now, let's take a couple of use cases and see how the solution stitches together to give you that true end-to-end -end segmentation based on roles. In our first use case, we have a customer who have deployed Aruba Central Net Conductor across at various locations. Here in this case, location one, and this is location two, where they have the Aruba Central Net Conductor fabric built. Here, customer have various endpoints connected to the network, which uses some NAC solution to authenticate and authorize and then give them a role. At this point, customer have role associated to those endpoints and they could use that information to create role-based access control as defined here. In this simple example, we have a contractor trying to access the printer, but based on the policy, the traffic is being dropped within the LAN segment. In another example where our contractor is trying to communicate with the employee, the traffic is going to be VXLAN encapsulated. In the VXLAN encapsulation, the traffic from the contractor is going to be carried within the VXLAN fabric with the, role, with the source role information in the data packet until the border. The border would then hand off to the edge connect in the standard based BGP VPN VXLAN uh, tunnel where the role is maintained from the fabric to the WAN domain. The edge connect at this point learns the roles, transports the traffic natively in an IPsec header from site one, from location one, edge connect all the way to the remote site edge connect device. The edge connect would now take the IPsec header, converts that to an standards based VXLAN carrying the source role and then forwarding it onto the remote border and then sending it to the employee. Due to the policy enforcement, which is employee cannot talk to the contractor, the traffic is then going to be dropped at the destination egress port. In a multi-vendor scenario, either through an acquisition uh, or uh, perhaps a deliberate policy to implement uh, multiple vendors SDN solutions, uh, because the Edge Connect interfaces with the LAN fabrics via that standards-based BGP EVPN VXLAN, Edge Connect can carry that same role-to-role -role segmentation uh, across the SD-WAN fabric between LAN fabrics, even from third parties. Because the Edge Connect SD-WAN fabric carries that role information natively in the data plane, uh, it is able to maintain that end-to-end -end role segmentation between uh, vendor VXLAN-based fabrics. As long as the role information configured in this fabric is the same as the role information configured in that fabric, the Edge Connect SD-WAN is able to normalize that role information across the fabric uh, in the data plane. This ensures that we're able to provide that end-to-end -end role-based segmentation even in a multi-vendor scenario such as this.
Additionally, even with the end-to-end -end roll base segmentation uh, carried via the SD-WAN fabric, the Edge Connect SD-WAN is also able to enact on that roll and steer traffic according to our SD-WAN policy. So in this simple example, we're showing uh, an employee uh, that needs to access the SAP application uh, is directed from the LAN fabric to the Edge Connect SD-WAN from the Edge Connect SD-WAN up to the SAP instance hosted inside of AWS. Uh, conversely, a contractor is directed from their LAN fabric up to the Edge Connect SD-WAN and then up to the SAP instance inside of Azure. Because the Edge Connect SD-WAN fabric uh, receives and understands that role information, it is able to then steer the traffic according to the SD-WAN policy. In this example as well, uh, we have um, the employee and the contractor role are also able to access the internet via our SSE uh, solution that is attached to the Edge Connect SD-WAN. That's great, Corey. Uh, I was wondering, what is the solution if a customer has a, um, legacy switches or third-party switches that cannot do the VXLAN fabric? How does the solution work? Yeah, it's a great question, Prashant. So in the case of a uh, LAN side switch that does not support uh, VXLAN, the Edge Connect appliance is able to use uh, a mechanism uh, of radius snooping to learn the role information from any device that is uh, authenticated via the NAC across the LAN side. So by doing this, the Edge Connect is able to learn that the role is, in this example, employee learned through radius snooping, uh, and then able to implement the same roll-to-roll -roll segmentation policies across the SD-WAN fabric, whether the user is learned through radius snooping at this site, through this uh, vendor switch, uh, or the user is learned as, say, employee at this site through the third-party VXLAN fabric. Um, the same role information is carried across the SD-WAN, whether it's learned via radius snooping or via EVPM VXLAN. As you see, the Aruba Central Net Conductor solution tightly integrated with the Edge Connect SD-WAN fabric will allow customers to define end-to-end -end segmentation, both macro segmentation as well as the micro segmentation across that entire infrastructure. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit our website.